Hi guys, welcome back to the Paxton Creek Garden. Today we're gonna talk about uh, blossom and rot, um, and also known as BER. Uh, this happens in early early production time uh, of your tomato plants, and we'll talk about uh, the reasons why it happens and the, and how to mitigate it and how to prevent it and the quick fixes. So let's get started. So this is the first year when I'm growing the tomatoes in this raised bed section. I had a new soil um, put into this new raised bed and I'm seeing this uh, blossom and rot. Uh, as you can see that uh, uh, the biggest tomato out of the bunch has the dark brown spot and this bunch is fine and then I will show you the another one so I'm having problems into two or three uh, tomato plants out of the ten that I have um, and it could be it could get into a very serious problem where your entire crop could get the blossom and rot and you might be without tomatoes if you and it, it can be a problem um, especially if you're growing in a, like a container and uh, varieties like Aroma, Better Boy and some other and some variety may be resi resistant to the blossom and so depends on variety as well so let's look at what, what it is and then look at how to prevent it and then look at how to quick fix it so what is blossom and rot? a water sock spot at the blossom end of tomato fruit is the classic symptom of a blossom and rot this is relatively a common garden problem. It is, not, it is not a disease, but rather a physiological disorder and mainly caused by calcium imbalance within the plant. It can occur in paper, squash, cucumber, and melon fruits, as well as tomatoes. And we're gonna talk about tomatoes today. And the blossom and rot is most common when growing season starts out wet then becomes dry when the fruit is setting and the damage is first appear when fruits are approximately half their full size uh, most most of the time the water soaked area enlarges and turn dark brown and real smooshy and ugly looking <laughs> if you would say and that is the blossom and rot these areas will eventually begin to rot and so the fruit should you can pick it and it discard the fruit you know you cannot use it if it's real big tomato maybe you can try to salvage it but most likely you will end up discarding this uh, tomato fruit now let's look at what causes this calcium um, deficiency in the plant there are several factors that can limit plants ability to absorb enough calcium for proper development this includes uh, fluctuation in soil moisture you know sometimes it's rainy and it becomes too wet and sometimes you forget to water and it becomes too dry and excess amount of nitrogen in soil you know you fertilize it with high nitrogen fertilizer that could be the cause root damage due to cultivation you know if you're cultivating the land um, while the plants are growing because tomato has a lot of surface root you may damage it and that can cause it um, soil pH could be an issue if it's too high or too low. Um, if you are uh, planting during the cold, when the soil is cold, that could become a problem. Um, soil has high amounts of salts, that could be a problem. So these are the several factors that could limit the plant's ability to suck up calcium and provide it to the uh, fruits and other areas that it needs. So here is the picture of a ripening tomato that is having a blossom and rot problem. And so as you can see, it can happen in the early stage or even while they are ripening. So um, how to prevent it? So let's talk about the prevention and control. So to prevent it, maintain constant level of moisture in the soil throughout the growing season. When the weather is dry, water thoroughly once or twice each week. To moisten the soil uh, to the depth at least about six inches or six to eight inches you want to deep water it 
and you could use uh, fertilizers that has calcium in it like this organic fertilizer that I'm using export brand from Walmart and you could use this fertilizer at the beginning of the season when you are planting tomatoes put three to four handfuls of this into your planting hole and that will provide enough calcium um, and it will break down over the time you could also use egg cells or this bone meal bone meal has about 14% uh, or 14 parts of calcium um, so that uh, will solve your de calcium deficiency problem if your soil is, isn't having uh, enough calcium or if you're planting it in a container the tomato plant in a container uh, because tomatoes are heavy feeder they will eat up a lot of um, nutrition uh, fast so you could use this two solution at the beginning of the season and that should prevent it next is uh, in if you are in a cold climate allow soil to warm before planting cold soils also limit nutrition uptake so make sure your soil temperatures are above 50 60 ish most likely 60s you want to make sure although it says 50 here but make sure it's about 60 also use the fertilizers that are low in nitrogen and high in phosphorus that will also help with calcium deficiency mitigation so you could use mulch at the base of tomato or straw um, at the base of tomato that will help uh, with uh, reducing the water evaporation rate and maintain consistent moisture in the soil and in turn it will help with uh, calcium uptake keep a record of what variety you get uh, blossom and rot uh, if you do and that will help you with the next year how to plant it and uh, you know you, you, perhaps you could choose another variety that is less susceptible to blossom and rot and that it could be one way to avoid it too now at the end let's talk about a quick fix if you are having a blossom and rot issue right now and you want to mitigate it um, soon and uh, provide calcium to your plant um, if if you are having a calcium deficiency, we're gonna use a lime, garden lime, and a vinegar. So that's the secret recipe. Um, and so I just bought this uh, garden lime uh, from uh, uh, Lowe's, and as you can see, the content um, lime has uh, freely available 21 percent calcium and that's a big amount for tomatoes so we'll be using this um, I have about 10 some plants so I'm gonna use four five uh, handful uh, in a five gallon water diluted into five gallon water um, so uh, my hands are a little small so if you are a big guy and has a bigger hands you might wanna uh, uh, take a little bit less but I'm using four to five handfuls so one handful per gallon that's I think my recipe and uh, so that's it I took a lime in the cup and I'm gonna mix about a tablespoon of vinegar now what this will do is it will activate uh, the lime and uh, make more calcium uh, that is free and available so um, this may no longer be organic but I still consider it organic because lime is organically found in the nature so uh, then what we're gonna do is give it about uh, 10 to 15 seconds or and then we will do here you can see um, it's already working and so we'll let it sit for a little bit and then we'll uh, mix it in with about uh, four to five gallon water and here is my five gallon water bucket and I have filled it up to about four four gallon and uh, I'm gonna just uh, mix it in uh, and I'm gonna use a wooden uh, stick to mix it well So here comes my wooden stake and I'll just mix it in well for uh, uh, 10 to 15 seconds and allow it to completely dilute in this uh, water and then we'll add it into our tomato beds.
So now it looks like it's ready and diluted. So we'll use about one cup, about uh, 12 ounces um, of this solution for each tomato plant and water them uh, using this solution. So what this will do is this will uh, make uh, calcium available to your tomato plants um, right away. You know, as soon as you water it, the calcium is available to your tomato plants. And so what they will do is they will suck up the calcium, take it, uh, make sure it reaches fruits and other parts that needs it. And this way you will be able to stop blossoming and draw out. And you could do this uh, for about a week or two. Not every day, once a week. Um, and again, make sure um, the main cause of blossom and rot is watering. Watering is the main problem. So make sure you put uh, tomatoes on a schedule, scheduled watering, and once in a week um, you want to deep water it. Make sure you water it um, so that the soil beneath the surface, about six to eight inches is moist and well wettened so that will help with uh, tomato plants uh, sucking up the calcium and again this problem we mostly see in the container plants so here is the one of my container plants and it has started to produce uh, tomatoes so I'm, I'm just it hasn't shown a blossom and rot yet but I'm just gonna give it a cup of uh, calcium um, the lime that we just made so hopefully it won't uh, have a blossom and rot. Another solution you can use is a calcium nitrate. There is another product, Root Stop. I haven't tried it, you can try it. Calmac Plus, there is one more um, that's out there, this, this one. So you can try them. And let us know in the comment section below uh, what worked for you and uh, how are you growing your tomatoes this season and what varieties. And if you like this video, uh, please like and share uh, this video and don't forget to subscribe our channel and also press the bell icon to get regular